in problem number 15 of section 1.4, we find the integral of uh, the function sin uh, of x times cosh of x in two different ways. Uh, first way is just to go um, use regular integration by parts. Uh, so if we uh, set, say, u uh, equals sin, or excuse me, sin of x, and of course then du uh, will be cosh of x, and if dv is equal to uh, cosh of x dx, then v will be equal to sinh of x. And there should be a dx at the end of uh, cosh x uh, for the du term. Uh, so now the integral sinh um, sinh of x cosh of x dx uh, is equal to well, u times v, so sinh of x times sinh of x, or your sinh squared, uh, minus the integral of v du, so uh, the integral of sinh of x uh, times uh, du, which is uh, cosh of x dx. So although it may not seem like we've really gone very far since we just ended up with our same integral again, uh, we do have the advantage of this being a minus sign. So we can rearrange and actually just solve for the integral. So if we add uh, the original integral to both sides of the equation, uh, we get 2 times the integral of sinh x cosh x is equal to sinh squared of x. And if we divide by 2 on both sides, and of course add a constant, uh, we see that the integral of sinh x cosh x is equal to sinh squared of x over 2. Uh, I want to make one note really quick. Um, in this integration by parts problem, I chose u equals sine of x and dv equals cosh of x. Uh, I could have very well just chosen to um, put u equals cosh of x and dv equals sinh of x dx. And that would have been fine. I would have got the right answer. But it, if you follow that out and work it out like that, it ends up being in a slightly different form. Uh, if you do it that way, the answer you get is actually cosh squared of x over 2 plus a constant. And it looks a little confusing at first, but what we need to remember is that uh, through the identity, uh, which says 1 plus sin squared of x equals cosh of x, or excuse me, cosh squared of x, we see that Cosh and sinh, uh, or cosh squared and sinh squared are really just the same functions, just shifted. Uh, cosh is equal to sinh plus you know, a constant, which can be factored into the constant here. So if you choose to do it the other way and come up with this answer that looks a lot different, uh, just remember that it actually is the same answer. Right. Now the second way that we'll uh, compute this uh, integral is uh, using the definition of uh, sinh and cosh in terms of the exponential function. Uh, so we can rewrite the integral as um, e to the x uh, minus e to the minus x over 2 times e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 dx. And we can factor out the 1 fourth. And if we multiply uh, the remaining term, or the remaining parts of the integrand, we get e to the 2x. Uh, and we have minus e to the minus x times e to the x, and plus e to the x times e to the minus x. So they cancel out. And 
our second term will be negative e to the minus 2x. So now we solve this simple integral. So 1 fourth, this will be uh, times uh, 1 half e to the 2x minus, uh, a minus 1 half times e to the negative 2x and plus a constant. And if we rearrange a little bit, we can write it as uh, 1 half times, uh, let's see, 1 half times uh, e to the 2x uh, plus e to the minus 2x over 4 plus c. Uh, the reason that I chose it to write it in this chose to write it in this way is um, remember this is our final answer using this method and it should agree with uh, with our answer before in other words if we uh, expand cosh squared of x or cinch squared of x according to the definition um, uh, the according to the definition of the hyperbolic sine and cosine we should end up with this answer so if we just pick cosh squared of x. Um, now this is going to be equal to uh, e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 quantity squared. And this will be uh, e to the 2x uh, plus, uh, no, here in this term we'll have let's see, uh, e to the x times e to the minus x and uh, plus let's see uh, plus e to the x times e to the minus x uh, plus e to the minus uh, 2x all over 4, which if we simplify this, see we get e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x and see here we'll have plus 2. Uh, all over 4. And now this is going to be e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x over 4 plus 1 half. Which now if we uh, substitute this back into the answer that we got in part A, so using the, the answer using integration by parts, uh, we get, we came up with the, came up with the answer of the original integral as uh, cosh squared of x over 2 uh, plus a constant. So now uh, this will be equal to uh, e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x uh, over 4 times 1 half. and plus one half plus c. And we've got this extra, um, once we multiply everything through, we'll have an extra one quarter uh, in this term. But we can just absorb that into the constant. And we'll see that this is actually one half e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x over 4 plus C, so that our answers from part A and part B do in fact agree.